Okay, let's have a look at some of the details in the configure menu. So if I go to configure, I uh, can make a lot of settings in the background. Um, for details, have a look at the uh, manual, but um, yeah, here I give you uh, just a quick run through. So under general, we have the details to the database. So as um, so, you can have a local database that just runs on your machine, or you can have um, a shared database. So that would just be, need to be a database that can follow the ODBC uh, protocol, um, and that can be on the server. The nice thing is multiple people can work on the same database. So if you have a team of, let's say, five people, all would connect to the same database. So all can also restore, uh, get the results from the other colleagues and, and work with that. So that's extremely useful. Um, here you uh, connect the database and can check the connection. Uh, we also feature multi-language support. So we have English as a default, but then we also have uh, German, Japanese, and Chinese. So if you would like to use the user interface in your own language, um, that's where you can configure it. Um, the dongle is also configured here. So the, the license of the IQ analyzer is managed using a USB dongle. Uh, we've decided this way because this is an extreme uh, secure way. We don't need any internet connection uh, to work properly. And um, so for now, that is the, the way how to, to manage the, uh, the license. Um, for that, we feature a local workflow where you have the, the USB dongle is connected to the machine, to, to the PC that you are currently working with. But we also have a network functionality. So you can have the dongle connected in a network share. Uh, see, detail, see the manual for more details. But um, then you can also uh, use that dongle via the network. Uh, also here, the use case might be you have multiple people working. Uh, so you can have a dongle with like five licenses on that. And then, but people can have on 10 different machines have the software installed and just use it very flexible um, on the machine they would like to have. Then we have settings here for the analysis setting. So um, you can um, define a lot of different details of the analysis, um, like setting how exactly the linearization is done, um, how some, uh, the, some, some sourcing is done, how fittings are done. So really detailed uh, analysis of um, or oh, detailed settings of the analysis. Sorry. Um, and you can then also um, store multiple different uh, settings. So I can make some, some changes here and then uh, save this setting um, in, uh, with a new name. So this is now my setting. And I say the um, um, setting as shown in demo. Uh, so with the description, I can remember later on what I've done. So we want to avoid that you have now setting one, two, three, and you don't know exactly what it is. Um, so now uh, I, you have stored it under the, with the name uh, that you would like to have. So the visualization can also be customized. So um, some limits, uh, so for example, in color, a certain error gets uh, turned red, others are yellowish. Uh, so this is what can, uh, can be defined under visualization. Uh, we have the reference file import. Um, that's what we already talked about in the reference file. So when, with the target, if you have detailed data of your target, so color data, densities, and so on, um, you can import that here. So then it's stored in the database. Also, that means that if you have a shared database, all colleagues can participate in this data and can make use of this data. Specifications for the UTT, or a special, um, a special target where you have specifications um, and you can get information if you passed or failed the specification, can be imported here. And um, a very nice feature is the automation where you have a command line and a hot folder um, uh, functionality. But that's, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into detail with that in another video.